Hello, I'm Professor David Matthews and I'm Emeritus Professor of Diabetes Medicine here in Oxford. I encourage you to come along to an educational online meeting that we're having. And this is to discuss some interesting science that we've been thinking about. And that relates to what we should be giving patients when we first begin pharmacotherapy in type 2 diabetes. Obviously, at the outset of type 2 diabetes, we need to be really concentrating on diet and exercise. And there's a whole collection of new science coming out about the fact that significant weight loss can really help with diabetes. But there are many, many people who are going to need pharmacotherapy. And the tradition has been just to start these people on metformin. In fact, it got into guidelines and I was responsible for two of the ADA ESD <clears throat> guidelines uh, I was co-chairman with my American colleagues. And we recommended that metformin was the first line treatment. And that dates back to its use in the UK PDS, of which I was a co-investigator. Now, one of the questions that then arises is, is this necessarily the best treatment? And secondly, would a combination therapy help at the outset? Are there advantages? And so in this academic initiative, I'm going to be talking to you about the VERIFY study, which is a very interesting study lasting over five years that just asks that basic question. Is it better just to start on metformin or should we start on combination therapy? And it did look as though we'd got pretty strong evidence that actually the combination therapy was better in a whole lot of ways, including the fact that uh, insulin initiation was delayed. So do come along to the uh, webinar where we'll be discussing this. And thanks very much to Dr. Reddys for the academic initiative and indeed to DocMode for providing the educational platform. I hope to see you at the webinar.